Hey friends, today we're gonna to look at what Control 4 home audio cost. Everything's a tongue twister to me, I can never figure that out. So a couple of housekeeping items just to make sure we're on the same page. Number one, Control 4 does integrate with a number of third-party solutions like Sonos and Autonomic. There are some third-party audio switches and of course amplifiers that you can use. But for this video, we're gonna look at products that are native to Control 4 or manufactured by Control 4 and what that costs. With Control 4, first step, you have to choose between one of their controllers. They've got an EA1, an EA3, and an EA5. We're not gonna get into the differences in this video, but for purposes of home audio, the EA1 has one stream of internet music like Pandora, the EA3 has three streams of internet music, and the EA5 has five streams of internet music. So if you want to listen to five different songs at the exact same moment in five different areas of the house, you'd go with an EA5. The EA1 retails for 500, the EA3 retails for 1,000, and the EA5 retails for 2,000. And just a helpful note, with the EA1, it doesn't have a traditional audio out like you might see from an audio source. You have to use something called an HDMI audio extractor. That's going to run you 50 to 100 to get the audio actually out of the EA1 and into your audio switch and amplifier. Now your EA3 and EA5 have traditional audio outputs, but if you want to utilize all three or all five streams, you'll still need an HDMI audio extractor for the EA3 and EA5 as well. Okay, next up, we're going to buy the actual audio equipment and Control 4 sort of has two different solutions for the home audio. The first is what they call a matrix amplifier. And with an audio system, just quick review, you've got an audio switch and that's what switches the music from one room to the next. It allows you to play one song out to all rooms in the house or multiple songs to different areas of the house at the exact same time. It's the audio switch that's achieving that. And then of course you have amplifiers to power the speakers. Control 4 has a sort of all-in-one solution called a matrix amplifier. They've got a four zone and an eight zone matrix amplifier. So this is the audio switch and the amplification all in one piece of hardware. The four zone matrix amplifier retails for $11.95. The eight zone matrix amplifier retails for $24.95. So that's it if you're using the matrix amplifier amplifiers, you need either an EA1 or an EA3 and then one of the matrix amplifiers. The second solution from Control 4 is utilizing separates. You've got a separate audio switch and separate amplifiers depending on how many rooms of audio you're going to be using in the home. They have two sizes of audio switches. The first one is an 8 zone audio switch. It retails for $1,200. The second one is a 24 zone audio switch. It retails for $2,400. Control 4's amplifiers, they have two amplifiers. They have an 8 channel amplifier or a 4 room amplifier. It retails for $1,200. The 16 channel amplifier or 8 zone amplifier retails for $1,700. Now you may be wondering why you would use an audio switch and an 8 zone amplifier if you could just do an 8 zone matrix amplifier. One of the things you're going to run into in your home is something like a covered deck. You may have four, six, or eight speakers on that covered deck. With an audio switch, it enables you to take those six, eight speakers under the covered deck and amplify them as one zone. So it can actually reduce the overall cost of a system depending on how you design it and build it out. Everybody likes to have an easy metric to use so you can guesstimate the pricing for your home audio. We like to use price per room when we're looking at home audio. So that we're all on the same page, we're factoring $105 for pre-wire. That's two 16-2 speaker wires, a pair of speaker brackets for those speakers. It does not include speaker back boxes. And then a $100 pair of contractor grade speakers. Now you could use more expensive speaker wire and more expensive speakers, but for these numbers, that's what we're including in the prices. And Control 4 kind of has the two different solutions. So we've got two different metrics depending on which solution you're going with. The first one, if you're using a four zone or an eight zone matrix amplifier, you're probably going to be using an EA1 or an EA3, and your price per room is going to be $595 to $630. Now, if you're using the audio switches and the amplifiers separately, you're probably going to use an EA3 or an EA5, and your price per room in that application is going to run $600 to $640 per room, depending on the number of rooms that you have in the house. And lastly, everybody wants to know how this compares to products like Sonos. If you use a Sonos amplifier, the same pricing for your pre-wire and your contractor grade speakers, you're going to price out at $695 a room. So Sonos tends to be the cheaper solution through three rooms once you go into four or five and beyond it actually ends up being cheaper to use a solution like control 4 for your home audio so that wraps up our video here on how much control 4 audio costs if you have any questions about control 4 audio or some of the nuances with control 4 audio please leave comments below we'd love to hear from you also we are now shipping control 4 all over the nation for our design clients so if you have questions about that there's actually a link below on the video that you can click to find out more about that service as always if this video has been helpful give us a thumbs up we'd love it if you'd subscribe and we'll see you in the next video.